Hi there, me, I'm back again. Today I'm going to talk about a passage from Matthew 5, 43 to 44. Have you have heard it said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. So in light of everything that's going on right now, what are we doing to be good neighbors? But most importantly, what are we doing about those people that have hurt us, who've said nasty things to us, who've hurt our family, or whom we've hurt? What are we doing? Are we loving them? It's easy to call family and friends, and which a lot of us have been doing, keep in touch and make sure we're all okay. But what about those people that we've distanced ourselves from? I think God is trying to tell us something during this pandemic and the horrors of it. First, we need to take more time to pray. That is so important. Secondly, we need to slow down. Enjoy the family, enjoy life. And read those books that, uh, that you haven't read in years because you haven't had the time. Nature, look at God's glory in nature. Now the crocuses are up, the tulips and the daffodils are poking up, and all those perennials are starting to poke through the ground. Stop and and look at them and enjoy them. That's what they're there for, but we're always in such a hurry. And maybe this is a lesson we need to learn. And another lesson we need to learn is to continue on connecting with neighbors and family, contacting them, being in touch with them, forgiving. You know, there's so many people out there that, that are already doing all these amazing things. And I thank God for them. But maybe let's add our name to that list of amazing people too. You know, when I was in England and had, was having my fourth child, had my fourth child, um, the day I came home from the hospital, my husband was informed that all vacation was canceled. He was in the military. And that he had to fly out the next day and be gone for four to six weeks. Believe it or not, I didn't panic. I think in my heart, I just knew that God would provide. And he did, in the form of my next door neighbor, Patty Edgar. Patty was a little round lady, but she was a force to be reckoned with. Every morning after I got the kids off to school, Patty Edgar would show up, take the baby from me, and order me to go back to bed, which I did willingly. I'd get up a couple of hours later, and most of my housework would be done, my meals would be prepared, um, my baby would be sleeping peacefully, which he didn't do with me. <laughs> you know, she was just such a good neighbor. But I still think of her as my very, very special guardian angel. I think she's still up there watching over me. And then another little guardian angel that I have to talk about too is the guardian angel in the form of my eight-year-old, eight and a half-year-old daughter. Um, she would come home from school and just take over her baby brother. She'd take him with her while she was doing her homework or whatever she was doing, playing with her toys or anything. She had her baby brother with her and she would talk to him and play with him while I was, which gave me time to be with the boys and to prepare, get the rest of the meal ready and whatever. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to love each other always and often. Now is the time to connect with people and stay connected with people, especially those we've been disconnected with. God loves us and he forgives us and we all need to learn to do the same thing. So that's it for now. God bless, stay safe, see you next time.